All right, shalom everybody. I hope you can hear me. Uh, just uh, for people at Rumble, I just received a message that Rumble is not functioning. So if you please tell people at Rumble to join us in YouTube. For some reason, Rumble did not work. Why? I do not know. Yeah. All right. Shalom, everybody, and peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice is heard uh, good from your side. Uh, and again, if you are in Rumble, uh, join us in YouTube. For some reason, Rumble is not functioning. And no, look like Rumble. Anything have to do with Israel? They don't let me go through. Each time I have any uh, uh, title connected to Israel, something go wrong. Sound fishy, right? All right. So today we are going to talk about uh, you know what happened uh, yesterday. We were live, all of us, when we saw the attack happened by uh, Iran. Now this is one of the missiles fail on uh, in the desert. All right. Uh, I mean the Iranian missiles are very very high tech. It looked like a barrel, you know, long barrel, with some firework material in it, and they shoot it. They, those they call them blind missiles, which means they don't know where they are failing, and that's why many of them they fail in empty places without even shutting them. You do not need to shut them down. Some even they fall down in, in Jordan. And the only one function uh, correct is the one fell down in the West Bank, uh, killing one Muslim Palestinians, or they call themselves Palestinians. So uh, uh, almost 200 missiles like those. Uh, one person killed, and he is an Arab, and he is a Muslim. Uh, obviously, we can call this uh, attack is a big success for uh, Iran and uh, a very, very severe punishment to Israel. Uh, we will go back to this. The news saying that the Israeli, they lost one soldier already in, uh, in Lebanon, uh, going through the borders. And they have his picture here. He is 22 years old, you know, he, he you know, uh, he gave his life for his country to defend his country, he's a hero. And, you know, it's very normal in war that people will die. I mean, what you expect when you go at war, uh, you, you, have to, you have to lose. In order to gain, you have to lose. This is how war is. War is not just, uh, you know, going after the enemy and killing the enemy. Uh, but if you compare... Uh, just in the same day, Hezbollah lost at least 55 uh, and more than 156 injured severely. And the Israeli, they lost one. Now, let us say they lost even five or even ten. So it's a war. The important is what is the accomplishment, uh, you know, uh, at the end. It's not about, uh, you, you, have to, you have to give in order to gain in, in, in wartime. So for sure, we will hear more news about soldiers falling down. Uh, the same as happened in Gaza, but the important is who is going to be victorious. The enemy will be defeated, and the enemy will pay a very high price. And soon, actually, we will see a very pricely, pri priceless uh, respond to the attack on Israel. So here... Uh, this is a school in Israel. Uh, one of the uh, missiles from Iran fell down in it. Uh, now, if you look actually at those missiles, I mean, they look funny. I mean, they were able to destroy two walls. So all this long barrel, and this is what they can do. So this Iranian regime, I mean, are they stupid? What is this? If one of my cousins farted, he would destroy more than two walls. So 180, at least 181. Some they say 200, but whatever. 
what they accomplished by the 181 missiles. 330? No, I don't, you know, who cares? I mean, let's say, let's say 100. You know, there is two terrorists. Yesterday, they made an attack. They start shooting people in the, in the train station. They killed six people. So two terrorists, they did more harm to Israel than 180 long-range missiles. So what Iran accomplished now? Nothing. In return, Iran might lose their nuclear facility. You know, remember I told you when, when, you, when you guys told me that Iran launched the, uh, uh, the attack? I said, that's wonderful, because last time the Israeli did nothing. This time they should not, they should not, you know, uh, lose the opportunity. Uh, for now, the whole world is with them. Nobody can say why you are doing that, you know? Nobody can say why you are doing that. So if you don't do it now, you will lose your opportunity. It might never happen again. Maybe in a few weeks from now, the international uh, community... Uh, they will force Hezbollah to put their weapon down, go away from uh, uh, under the pressure of the Israeli army, and then uh, cease fire. And then what? You, uh, if you open fire at Iran, they will say to you, why you are doing that? Too late. Why you are opening the wounds? They will accuse Israel that they are the one who is, you know, starting war. But now Israel, they have the opportunity to respond and nobody can blame them. Uh, and you know, already Israel paid a very high price for all of this, all this garbage you see in the in, in the screen. Uh, you know, already you are paying price for it. So finish it for good. Finish it for good. In this map here, we see where the Israeli and uh, Hezbollah uh, they are uh, fighting. Uh, the, the name are not even, uh, you know, correctly, but this is how it's written in English. Uh, you see the map here, different color. This is Israel. And the other side, oh, there's a new update. Israel and Hezbollah fighting on the ground in Lebanon after Israeli invasion. Uh, and those are here. They are putting the, the, the car, the... Uh, those are uh, Hezbollah in their side. They are celebrating. I mean, who is this woman? Why she is in the screen? ABBC. I mean, give me a break. All right. All right. Israel, Iran, latest, uh, latest uh, first Israeli compact death inside Lebanon. All right. This is... Uh, Ah, the last news too, that the Israeli, they decide to ban the, uh, what they call him, the United Nations chief, chief, this comeback, filthy, trashy piece of garbage, he always attack Israel, he blame Israel for anything, and he support Hamas, and he support uh, Hezbollah, he support, he support everyone want to kill any Israeli. So Israeli, they did ban him from entering Israel. However, if I am an Israeli government, I will ban the UN, all of it, from entering Israel. Not only the chief. For many of the UN officers are a spy for enemies, like from Turkey, like from Qatar. Because, you know, the UN, maybe you do not know, they have employees from every country in the world. And then the UN decide to send you some who represent the UN. And you don't choose them, they choose them. So they can send you someone from Somalia, someone from Sudan, someone from Qatar, someone from Saudi Arabia. And trust me, those government, they will hire somebody. They will Because the gov their government have to, uh, uh, like, give those employees to the United Nations. In other way, they are elected by the government of the country which this person came here from. And usually they are going to be spy because now they have the UN immunity. They can, you know, travel. Nobody search their bags. Nobody search their phones. Nobody search, you know, they are UN. And they can go 
to a very conflict area and they can take pictures, they can take videos, they can send information. So Israel should in fact uh, ban the UN, not only the chief from entering. In fact, they should withdraw from the UN. What the UN is about? UN uh, today is, uh, uh, is nothing but a terrorist group under the influence of the money of Qatar and more than a hundred uh, countries who hate Israel. More than 124 countries, literally, they hate Israel. Literally. And not to mention, 65 countries are Muslims. 65 countries, all of them, they are Muslims. So any vote, right away, it will be against Israel. We know that there is something called the veto, but these days, even those who they are in the veto, China is trying to, uh, you know, to buy the the love of the Muslims because uh, the China, China is trying to open many businesses in uh, in Saudi Arabia, in Emirates. So they have a lot of interest in the Middle East. They have a lot of interest in Muslim countries like where they use uranium, you know, like Nigeria, Niger, uh, or oil. Uh, so uh, uh, being friendly to Muslim countries and supporting Hamas for China is more beneficial than supporting Israel. If they support Israel, what they will get exactly? Nothing much. But if they support, they will get welcoming from at least 65 countries. Many of them, China have a big business with them, for, you know, like starting with oil. Uh, so let us, uh, let us take this uh, Israel last report here of uh, this is the, from yesterday, from Dante. <laughs> Your number is 39. <laughs> 39 minus. <laughs> Potato. Hey, by the way, if anyone knows that he will go live, let me know so we can do another invasion. Just to install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. All right? Yeah. Uh we can send you the Afrit, you know, the Afrit of Suleiman, in case. Now, this is an announcement from the IDF uh, uh, spokesman about the attack yesterday and what they will do about it. Iran launched a large-scale attack of over 180 ballistic missiles directly from Iranian soil at the State of Israel. There were a small number of hits in the center of Israel and some other hits in the southern Israel. The majority of the incoming missiles were intercepted by Israel and a defensive coalition led by the United States. Iran's attack is a severe and dangerous escalation. There will be consequences. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest levels of readiness. Our operational plans are ready. We will respond wherever, whenever, and however we choose. In accordance with the directive of the Biden administration, Iran and its proxies have been attacking Israel since the 7th of October 2020. Iran and its proxies took an extensive hit. The Israeli Defense Forces will continue doing everything, everything possible all right so uh, we'll do everything necessarily but you know this is all speeches for sure what is important is what they will do uh, is the sound coming back uh, guys the sound the audio on YouTube is gone oh okay because somebody was saying there is double sound the majority of the incoming missiles were intercepted shouldn't go. by Israel and a defensive coalition led by the United States. Oh, that's weird. Iran's attack is a severe and dangerous escalation. There will be consequences. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest levels of readiness. Sound like two tape. This is only in Discord? Only in Discord or... Uh... Do you guys have two sounds in YouTube? Where the double sound? Is it in Discord only? Okay, I don't know why. Um, not sure. Do we have anything running? No. 
you have do you have a double sound from the same audio the same video okay anyway so you know like israel now they have a great opportunity to respond for what happened uh, but i don't trust politics politics is very dirty and uh, the american they will do everything they can uh, uh, you know joe biden uh, all what he care for is how to win the election you know for the democrat and we will see what that will do so either the israeli will be pressured by the american not to do anything at least for now for the coming 40 days or the israeli will not care and they will do what they need to do and because the war it might take really longer what than what we think uh, like now uh, uh, i don't think hezbollah is going to drop his weapon soon and will say okay you know what we are defeated that we have to agree they will not do that those uh, those you know this kind of people they are uh, you know the lose of life doesn't doesn't count for them like you kill from them 1000 2000 3000 5000 10000 still they think they are not lost they are islamist which mean uh, their kids mean nothing you know their life mean nothing uh, they are mentally ill uh, and therefore the lose of of, uh, uh, of casualty is not what they fear what they fear is the cost as money uh, uh, to make it simple for you <clears throat> each one of those who they died hezbollah because it's an organization they have to pay salary for his family so each time Hezbollah lose a person, they are losing someone and they have to hire someone else. So now instead of paying one salary for one person, which is supporting one family, they have to pay for two. One who they hired right now, instead of the one who died. And the one who died for his family will keep the salary. And that making a big stress on Iran and Hezbollah. So the major, the major uh, problem for Hezbollah is not really the lose of life as as life you know it's about money at uh, same time like now there's almost a million of uh, of that territory they left their houses and that mean uh, additional cost and additional problem for hezbollah for all those civilians if we can call them civilians they are dis dislocated and they need housing and now winter is coming so things will not be easy all right uh, things will be different because uh, you know uh, those are their family they have to find them uh, shelter food uh, furniture bed uh, uh, you know uh, hygiene supply all kinds of things it's very horrible situation for hezbollah in the same time for the israeli nothing happening next saturday the israeli will be all in the restaurants enjoying their food like what happened in the last Saturday and the Saturday before it and the Saturday before it and the one who will be suffering still suffering for the coming maybe few months we don't know maybe the war in Lebanon will, will, will be the same as Gaza maybe it, it, it might take six months uh, the only decision will affect what will happen there is when Hezbollah go bankrupt money is number one aspect it's not the blood uh, you know they have a lot of population they don't know what to do with them i mean they are jobless they are careless they are not educated nobody go to school uh, you know especially shia their kids is in the street women they do prostitution muta you can, you name it so losing life is not a big deal but the money is what make it horrible for them and uh, we will see how much money they have. If Iran maybe was able to get money from Qatar, and Qatar decide to sponsor Hezbollah, uh, uh, that will give Hezbollah a long, uh, let us say, long life. Uh, uh, let us say, will extend the dead body of Hezbollah. However, I expect that Hezbollah is going to be deter very fast like in the beginning is going to resist in a very strong way but as soon as 
Israel broke the defense line, Hezbollah will collapse. So if we go now to the map, let us see if we can put the map together. Um, I'm trying to find something good. All right. Okay, this one will do. We will use the terrorist website. Al Jazeera. That will make them more angry. All right. So if we look in the map here, this is Israel, this is Lebanon, this is Syria. Uh, you know what? I mean, this map is too, ma too many colors. I mean, the Prince of Qatar, he must be weird. And I know, I know, he is not the one who drew it. I know. But he is weird anyway. Let us see, this one may be better. I mean, we can't even find one decent map. All right, maybe this one will be better. <clears throat> All right. So if we look here in this map, so this is this is where the war is happening. And if we start a drawing here, maybe this is too much big map. Why we cannot find a good map? Somebody tell me. Shall I open my um, Google Earth? Hmm. Maybe. Hold on. We can switch to Google Earth. Yeah, the map is fine, but it's uh, it doesn't allow you to zoom in much. Okay, give me a minute. I want a map with details. All right, let us see this one here. Maybe this one would be better. <clears throat> All right, that's that's this one is better. So here, if you look with me in this map, The Israeli, as I understand, they are fighting in this area, here, and here. We don't know about this area yet, here, but I'm supposed that they will. This area have like little, very close to the borders, so they are going to clean the borders first. And after they clean the borders, Closing that area will be very easy because they can make they can launch an attack from this area here and they can close that area and then they can do invasion from the sea in the same time. Maybe the color is not good for you guys. Okay, let's see. 
this color is not good too much shiny let us change the color make it uh, black or dark all right so this is where supposedly the casualty reported of the Israeli in this area but I am assuming that this is the most uh, hard area to take because this is the first defense line and usually the first defense line will be the hardest because this is where they prepare for defense for the last 20 years maybe more you know since 2006 so uh, there's a lot of uh, preparation in this area made by Hezbollah and you know for me actually I wonder even why the Israeli are entering in the ground before even they destroy every building because this is the only way you can guarantee that there is no uh, trap is waiting for you uh, why they are not using dogs you know they, they are taking a small like small movement small uh, units very small units to go and explore so they should use dogs they should use drones smaller drones who can go from window to window inside those buildings uh, and dogs is very important because the, the second the dog he sees somebody he will go crazy he will attack the person the terrorist and if the terrorist kill a dog at least he kill a dog he did not kill a soldier even the dog is way more priceless than the terrorist but the Israeli have to be careful but because in this area as a start is going to be full of preparation trap you know a, a booty tra a trap and all kind of uh, all kind of trap those people they uh, they trained very well in Syria in the war of Syria for more than 12 years fighting the Muslim Sunni Hezbollah in the war in Syria lost tens of thousands of fighters and killed at least at least maybe I don't know maybe some they say 250,000 Muslim Sunni some they say a million we don't know exactly the number nobody know the number because both of them they were killing slaughtering each other with no mercy however uh, a war in Syria of 13 years they learn a lot of tricks of war especially war between houses and villages and etc now in the other side the Israeli army is very well trained especially after war almost for a year in Gaza in fact the war in Gaza is way more harder uh, and there is a reason for that because uh, you know uh, those houses in the, those villages there's wide roads between them every house have a big garden around it not like in Gaza Gaza like the, the uh, if I say the, the the door of your bathroom is way wider than many roads in Gaza some roads is not even fit for like one man's shoulder you know you can't even get a refrigerator inside so the, the roads are very narrow and fighting from door to door is extremely dangerous and we know what the Israeli did so the war in Lebanon will be way way easier however the first the hardest part is to pass the few first lines after that is going to be a lot easier especially if the Israeli practice something called carpet cleaning like don't go don't send your soldiers bomb carpet cleaning and then you send them then they occupy the area then they clean it all right uh, uh, you know the, the the you need to know the enemy very well how they think uh, Hezbollah are not a brave fighters I remember in the war of, in Syria and I saw a lot of videos how Hezbollah were running for their life all those Shia they were running like cats when ISIS and Al-Qaeda they were chasing them the only time they become heroes is when Putin he sent his army if not Putin they are they are done if not Putin all of those are gone in Syria you know and Hezbollah he was we can say if not Putin but but in the same time I have to to, to say that uh, uh, what happened in Syria was for the benefit of the Christians in Syria too because if not Putin the Christians in Syria most of them will be slaughtered and in the best scenario they will live like dogs under the feet of Isis while now the Christians in Syria they are very very strong actually and because now the regime in Syria is so weak he kissed the ass of every Christian in Syria so they, they are armed they have their areas they control their area uh, uh, you know they have their own let us say army 
in their in their in their towns. Uh, they are, they have full control of their towns, you know, full control of everything, and they are very heavily armed. So, uh, but this is only when they need you. Like as soon the war is over, the Christians will be, will become second citizen again, or they try to make them second citizen. Uh, uh, however, the Israeli now they understand, they understand the situation, and I want to mention that Erdogan today he did something strange. Where is the map? We need the other map now. Did we close the other map? I think we closed the other map. We closed it, right? Uh, yeah. Let us see. Let us see this one. Uh, this is eBay. <laughs> Why I need the eBay map? All right, CNN. Let us see CNN. There's a map in the CNN. We will use it. Today, Iran moved 180 tanks to the north of Syria. 100, 180. Now, don't worry. They will not use it against Israel. They were never there. Now we can uh, use this map. For some reason, I cannot zoom in it. All right. So, you can see it, guys, are clear? Is it clear? So, in this area here, let us use the pen again. In this area, uh, the Turkish, they, are, they send 180 tanks. And I am assuming that the reason the Turkish they send their tanks because they have an agreement with the Russian to prevent any attack from Al Qaeda, which is located here in this area. This area is controlled totally by Al Qaeda against the Syrian regime. Because now the Syrian regime is going to suffer weakness. You know, the Israeli is hitting Hezbollah, Hezbollah is busy fighting in Lebanon. Uh, most of forces who they are Hezbollah in Syria, they are already moving to Lebanon to stop the Israeli in invasion. So now Al Qaeda, they will find that there is a there is a space for them to move. The Syrian army is busy uh, trying to defend itself, and the Israeli just yesterday they destroy a bunch of radars. You know, so uh, you know the, the the Syrian government now they are not in a good position. Let us say. And that will encourage a lot of Muslim terrorists in Syria to decide to move to attack the Syrian army. So I think now the Turkish, because they are trying to negotiate with the regime of the Assad, because Turkey is almost bankrupt and they need to open the border with Syria, for that will make a big difference for them. First, they will send all the refugees. They have 4 million Syrian refugees. They will send them back to Syria which is a big relief for Turkey because Turkey took all the money of those refugees when they came and took all the billions Europe can give. That's it, they don't want to give them no more. So now they want to throw them out because there's no benefit from them. The economy of Turkey is collapsing and they need Syria because Syria will open door for them for other things like Iran. So a fixed relationship with Syria will fix many things for Erdogan. Uh, so he sent 180 tanks, and I believe they are going to spread in this area, as I'm showing you, to prevent Al-Qaeda from attacking the Syrian regime. We will see exactly what the purpose of sending, because 180 is not a small number. You know, 180 is, is, a, is a huge number. We are talking about tanks. We are not talking about uh, cars, you know. And that means, uh, you know, we don't know how many, how many soldiers, Turkish soldiers came with them. Uh, usually it will be an average of four or five with every tank, and not to mention the, uh, you know, normal soldiers like other kind of because you don't send tanks alone. So if 180, you know, I'm assuming maybe a few thousand soldiers came with them uh, from Turkey, and then we need to know what is the what is the point of sending those, and uh, I have no doubt that have nothing to do with the war in uh, in Israel. Erdogan will never dare really to do anything to Israel. He can talk a lot, but this guy is a potato. He knew he's no match. He knew that his, uh, his, his country is collapsing. Now, going back here. <clears throat> uh, 
Maybe if I click here, I can zoom in. I don't know why this website is not allowing me to zoom. Uh, now we, that's better. All right. Good. If we zoom more, ah, that's good. So now, uh, maroon rust, this area here, is where is attack is happening. In fact, you know what? Let me use maybe maybe Google Map will do better. Let us see. Instead of all of this madness. But you, what happened usually because I have my VPN switch to a different location is switch language right away. Um, all right. Well, that's better. Finally, at least now we have a real map. In fact, we can switch to Google Earth here. Wonderful. Uh, so if we go here, if you look at those villages, those are the one you hear about them in the news. They are very close to the borders of Israel. You see how close? This is the border. You see the line here, the colored line? This is the Israeli border here. And then this is where Hezbollah is located. All those towns are just in the borders, across the street actually, from Israel. And this is why the Israeli farmer, they could not walk no more. Because all what they need to do, they can just stand here, any point of this land, and they can shoot a missile, like a shoulder missile, at any farmer in his truck or his, uh, you know. So those, those uh, land now is abandoned by the Israeli because simply they can't use them. And if you, if you look how, how uh, uh, the distance between this uh, Jewish village and this Shia is not even maybe uh, 500 meters. You know the distance this is how close they are uh, which mean if you use you use with from your phone you can see people walking in the street in this area uh, same time this area here is uh, higher so that gives them more privilege in in order to attack the Israeli areas all right so the Israeli now they have to clean this area which is the border area all those are towns on the borders. So the first step is to take over all those towns. Look how many. Almost in every line in the border, there is a town, right away in the border. All right? All the way to the sea. And I think yeah, I think this is the point where the Israeli border and the yeah you know the in the sea consider the border between them. But here is a big center for Hezbollah, Vintage Bale, Aitarun, Marun Ras. This is where the fight was here today was Marun Ras. Let us see some pictures of it. This is Marun Ras. All right, it's a beautiful area, by the way. Uh, there's only one picture. What? Google have only one picture for Maroon Rice? All right, no problem. Thank you, Google. Yeah, so the fight was here, and uh, let us see if we can put our man here to go down in the ground no we cannot yeah there's no uh, you cannot go and google here in this area yeah they are not a big villages those are not big some of them they are busy some of them they are totally empty like there's not much and all those towns actually all the civilians already they run away let us see if we can put 
the guy here no still there is no Google option for it yeah there is no Google I guess uh, the Shia don't allow uh, Google to map it here so that will expose their security maybe yeah so all, all, all this territory is a target for Israel because this is the first thing they need to do in order to clean their borders here we see the borders of Israel and you notice right away how the land which is occupied by the Jews look like and how the land is occupied by the neighbor Shia look like here you see how it's becoming more desert do you notice with me do you see the land it's a desert you go to the Jewish area it's a green but it doesn't make sense it's the same I mean there's a few meters different so it can't be the rain it can't be uh, uh, it cannot be the uh, you know the Sun it can't be the soil it is the people all right so whatever the Jews goes they make the desert they make uh, you know uh, the land uh, that land should not be desert actually it should not be bad but as you see look when they when the, wherever those Muslim goes they cut the trees they destroy the land and now the land become more and more desert this land was not like this look at this you know they don't even even when they plant they do farming they farm the wrong let us say uh, uh, product the wrong product but anyway maybe drugs because Shia are very well known in growing drugs this area used to be Christians in fact it's called Maroon Ras and look what the picture there Maroon is a name for a very Christian name for a person his name is Maroon Maroon uh, uh, the Maronite they have a saint his name is Saint Maroon Maroon so this is all is a Christian area and the Shia they occupy it during during the Ottoman Empire and then after that during uh, uh, the Albanian uh, invasion and uh, you know Albania from, it came from Egypt they were ruling ruling Egypt during the Fatimian the Fatimian the Shia they were very horrible they killed a lot of Christians very filthy uh, they invade the mountains of, of Lebanon and they killed tens of thousands of Christian Lebanese so those all this land all of it used to have zero zero Muslim zero totally zero and it's the bad luck of Israel that the one the neighbors next to them now is the Muslims not the Christians if those neighbors here are Christians there's nothing will happen if all this area here is controlled by Christians Israel will have no problem but bad luck all the neighbors around them are Shia and they have to deal with it so in fact the Israeli they should not allow anyone to come back in this area uh, unless there is a 1 billion percent guarantee that no weapon will come here ever again no member of, of any terrorist group not only Hezbollah because what the benefit if I say no Hezbollah and then other terrorist group come they can just change the name they create a new name you know so they have to get uh, uh, you know uh, you can you can you can like uh, make force them to say no Hezbollah no more but then another group there's a million group they can come so they have to implant in this area like they are talking about United Nation uh, I don't think United Nation can do anything because there is United Nation already there they do nothing Hezbollah beat them even shot many of them United Nation did nothing they did not even take them to international court so the United Nation who they drive their cars in this area it's just a useless thing it's just a show so they should not allow United Nation to be here they should ask the Lebanese army to take over and then if something happened the Lebanese army will be responsible and then the Lebanese cannot take it to see their own army being beaten Hezbollah doesn't care as I said for losing you know their own citizen those are Shia they don't care Shia they have no value for anything a Shia person and a cat is the same for them they have no value for a human being this is why you see in Iraq what's happening go and see in Iraq no value for a human being 
people killing each other, people raping each other, people slaughtering, people kidnapping, kidnap, ransom, sales, human trafficking, you name it. This is Shia land. Wherever the Shia goes, things go wrong. And I want to mention something about the Shia. The Shia are very uneducated too. Like you might say, find Sunni who they are savage and uh, terrorist, but the Shia, the majority of them are extremely uneducated. They are the one who clean shoes in Lebanon. They are the one who clean cars in Lebanon. They are the one who clean the street or they are drug dealers. So the rich one of them is drug dealer. The one who don't have a job these days, he joined Hezbollah. So he's hired by Iran. This is why I'm saying it's very easy for Hezbollah to recruit because there's no jobs. And they are the one who control the drugs market too. So by joining uh, uh, Hezbollah, the same actually as Hamas. Hamas, how they can recruit? The money of Qatar is coming and there's no jobs. What 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 people do for living in, uh, in Gaza? What they do? Nothing. The major population, they live by the United Nations support. They enjoy it. They don't, they don't want to be anything except re refugee because refugee means every day you receive from United Nations or from uh, many countries certain amount of food for free. Why do you want to work? Have sex, make babies, and eat. Watch TV. So going back here to the war, the war will, will be difficult in the beginning to clean this area. For those people here, they are preparing for a long time. They knew that time might come and, uh, you know, uh, the Israeli will come back again. Uh, here, like in some areas here, there's a lot of Christians, all right? So this area, the second the Israeli arrived to the Christian area, that will be very easy to get in because the Christians will never resist them. In fact, they will not say you are welcome like loudly because, uh, you know, they will accuse them to be traitor and they, they might uh, have a lot of revenge from them. But we know that the Christians, they will be welcoming the Israeli and they will be happy to see them coming. So after, after the Israeli, Clean this area here. Let us, uh, maybe we go back to the map. All right. And we use, I don't know why like this now. In the map of Google, it doesn't allow me to open the drawing. Yeah, it doesn't allow me. Strange. Yeah, it doesn't. See, I have like I installed this software. When I click, it doesn't allow me to draw here. No, what a shame! Hmm. It's all right. So, anyway, all this area you see my mouse, right? Did you see it? Do you see my mouse? The screen, I think, is not showing. Okay, I will click so you can see where my, my mouse is. So, all this area they will not go all the way to Sur. Sur is a Muslim Sunni town. The Sunni, they are so happy to see Israel attacking Hezbollah. They hate them. So what the Israelis need to do is to clean this area here, 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 all the way, as we see, and then close this area, you know. That will be a huge, massive, actually, uh, uh, land. Uh, after they clean it, then Hezbollah have to agree and come to agreement. Put down your weapon. You never come back here. And I think this is what will happen soon. The, the uh, Many countries around the world, they will start begging Israel to agree. In fact, Hezbollah right now uh, uh, offer ceasefire uh, immediately, you know, with Israel. And they, will, they are willing to agree to uh, obey the command or the order which is voted for uh, by United Nations in 2006, which is going to take them all the way, more than 10 kilometers away from the border of Israel. And they will not be allowed to go closer. However, the Israelis should not agree with this now because they have to do some kind, some kind of technical uh, improvement for the agreement. And they have to be sure that Okay, we will. We have the agreement in, uh, twenty years ago. 
How come never happened? How come I never, never accepted? What if we cease fire now and tomorrow you come back? So they will not agree until they are sure and they have a mechanism to be sure that Hezbollah will never come back to that area. All right? Never, never trust a Muslim making a promise. A Muslim making a promise is like the father of all lies making a promise to you. Only foolish people, they, you know, you remember what the Quran said. The Quran says to the Muslims, cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. Right? So the Muslims, if they sign a peace agreement, they will do it only if they are not the uppermost, which means temporarily, until they are the uppermost. That's what Muhammad did. Muhammad, he signed peace agreement with his enemy. They were fools. They trusted him. They believed him. It's okay. Peace between us, between the Muslims. Muhammad, he waited until he is strong, preparing for them. And now he have enough number to invade. So what he said in chapter 9, verse number 1, he says, Bara'a, which means, I wash my hands from every peace agreement with you. You have a free month to leave the Arabian Peninsula, otherwise I'm going to kill you all. And then everybody start leaving and running for his life. In chapter of Muhammad, the terrorist Muhammad, verse number 35 says, uh, don't waver and call for peace while you are you have the upper hand. Do you see it? So a Muslim, he will never call for peace. If he have the upper hand. So when they are called to, poly, or to, or to peace, they call to peace only when they are going to lose, which means temporarily until they have the upper land. And the funny is, the Quran says, Allah will be with you, uh, you know. But you just say to them, they have the upper hand anyway. So what with them? When, when Egypt signed peace agreement with Israel, not because the Egyptian Muslims, they believe in peace. But they are practicing this the same as Emirat, the same as Bahrain the same as uh, any any country Muslims sign peace agreement with you and they will be sharpening their teeth until they are ready to eat you alive all right so anyone who believe somebody saying leave the war no nobody ever win that is a stupid statement very stupid. So, are you saying to me like uh, Hitler? He, he he did not lose. The Muslims they invade Syria. They took Syria. They did not win. They took Iraq. They did not win. They took Egypt. They did not win. That very silly, stupid comment. People they say stupid things. Innocent people die. You are stupid again. You are so stupid. Well, you tell those people who they are attacking, you stupid idiot. Innocent people die. This is what war is about. You know, like, you know, there's some people, they are coming from fantasy land. Like, okay, innocent people die. That's it. The Muslim will stop attacking Israel now. That's it. Because you said innocent. In Islam, anyone is not a Muslim is not innocent. Anyone is not a Muslim is not innocent. He must die. And you are making a stupid statement again. You are a hippie. You are a dummy. You are stupid. I'm not calling names. I'm just describing who you are. Use your brain. In your country, do you have police? Why do you have police? Because there is a criminals. It's a fact. What do you mean, what do you mean by saying criminal? That means there's a, somebody is an innocent will be killed. So you are ignoring the fact of this reality of this world. You are living your own fantasy. Which means you are stupid. Is that correct, guys? Well, we have police. 
Is that because the, 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 you know we don't we everybody is good, or because there is people who they are evil? People are shallow, stupid, silly. They just throw word at you like make love, no war, hippie, stupid. Go after the middle of the night and let us see what will happen to you. Who is going to rob you? They announced that Denmark is the last place to walk at night. Because the Muslims there, they are robbing people in the street after the middle of the night. Even daytime. Just two hours ago, actually, there's an there's explosion in Denmark. Denmark become the capital of terrorism. Allah will judge. Oh, he's a Muslim and talking about uh, about innocent. The the guy who is uh, who is he's telling me about innocent. He is a Muslim. He's a prophet. He raped. He killed. He kidnapped millions of people, and he is telling me Allah will judge. It's your God who says kill them. You stupid idiot. It's your God who said kill the innocent, because in the eyes of Islam, anyone is not a Muslim must die. Am I lying, Biyot, Biyota? Join me. Are we making things up? And this is what is funny. Uh, one of you actually sent me a video in Patreon saying, CP, I listened to you for long. You need to see this video. So I was, I look at this video. I don't actually uh, usually click. But I wanted to see what is that. And they are, you know, an Israeli soldier making fun of people of Gaza. Well, if I am from Israel, not only I will make fun, I will make party. You kill their women, you rape their children, you cut even the head of their dogs and cats. And they don't want them to make fun of you. That's it. That's the disaster now. You want to kill every Jew. You attack them. You take women from their hair naked, you throw them in the truck, you rape them in the way just to go to Gaza. They did not arrive even to Gaza. And they are, you are upset because they made fun of you in a video on TikTok? They hurt your feeling? <laughs> Do you see how stupid people are? And this is a Christian saying to me, CP, you need to see this. Oh, the Jewish are bad. You stupid idiot. The neighbors are lucky. What if the power of Israel is the power of Saddam Hussein? What Saddam Hussein would do for an army invade his cities, take women, rape them in the back of a truck, videotape them, throw their body naked in the street, cut them pieces. There is a video of a woman, a Jewish woman, Eight or nine Hamas members, they were raping her, and the last one, he cut her breast when she is alive. Imagine he's raping the women. He have her on a table. After eight or nine, they raped her. He took his knife, he's holding her from her breast, and he cut her breast with his knives. What I will do if I am an Israeli? What you will do? Israel did not invade Lebanon. In fact, they are not invading Lebanon. They are invading Hezbollah. Hezbollah is shooting at Israel for the last 11 months. 11 months. How long they should wait? How long? And then they will see Washington Post saying, look what the Israelis are doing. They are killing women and children. This country have nukes. They do not need to have patience with you. You call for genocide. All of them, they call for the genocide of the Jews and the Israeli. So why they have to be merciful with you? Every single one of those who they are celebrating in the street, the attack on Israel, they call death to America, death to Israel, which means genocide. 
So why Israel should be nice and friendly to your women and children? Their children doesn't count for you. Their women doesn't count for you. You want to kill them. We shoot missiles at their towns. But when they shoot back, who oh, is killing children? Hypocrite, coward, liars. Right? Well, Beyota, get out of here if you don't dare to talk about war. All your religion is about war. He said he can debate me about religion, not about war, as if his religion have nothing, anything except war. All your religion is about the booty. All the religion of the Muhammadan is about the booty. It's about sex. When you die, what Allah will give you? Endless penis. You are a penis worshiper. Your God is a penis. You don't worship God. Your dream is to have an endless penis. And guess what? The Jews is going to make your penis have a U-turn. You know what I mean. This is even a religion. If this is a religion, what is this stupidity? Do we have any Muslim? Any supporter of Hezbollah? Go ahead, Lax. Hi, CB. Hi, How yeah. are you? I'm fine. Wow, this is amazing to talk to you. Um, uh, I'm from Australia. All right. I've been um, I've been listening to you for a while. I'm a Christian. And uh, I'm very happy to speak to you. Well, um, maybe uh, what was the topic? Uh, just wanted to say something about these uh, Muslim people, you know, here in Australia. How they um, they have been living here with um, other community, you know. Um, maybe it, uh, not gonna quite match to the topic you're speaking, but. Yeah, I mean, it's going to matter anyway. It's all about Muslim all the time. <laughs> Every day you talk, it's all about Muslim. Uh, you, you, were some, you were saying something about in, in Denmark, you know, just a couple of minutes earlier. Hmm. All right. Hello. Somebody saying okay. in the chat, hold on. Somebody is saying in the chat, uh, CP can call people piece of shit, but we cannot say shit in the chat. My friend, you do not need to say shit in the chat. You, when you chat, you are shitting around. Because I can see how your text is so shitty. So it's not about you saying shit. It's about you doing shit. So if you want some divers, let me know. I can send you some. All right? When I say, like somebody say a piece of shit, I'm talking about Hassan Nasrallah. I'm not talking about a person who is just walking down the street. A person who did a lot of shit in this earth. What he do for a living except shit? They, draw, they grow heroin, cocaine, they kill people, they put bombs in, in, in bus stations, in synagogue, in churches, even in Muslim Sunni mosque. Shall I call that a cucumber for you to make you happy or I say this guy is a piece of shit? They come here and they play that they are high class. You are high, but not a class. Too much cocaine. By the way, Nasrallah, he died, but his drug dealers in the, in the valley of Bika are still working there. Drugs is good there. You can buy from them. All right? Yeah, they play victims, and they play that they are high-quality people. Like, what are you talking about? Is that right to say, you are a Christian, you say the word shit? My friend, I shit on Allah every day. Don't you know? Do, should I say it to yeah, you by word? Yeah. I do not need to say the word. But don't you understand what I'm doing here? I'm showing everybody that this religion is nothing. Even garbage is way better because garbage can be useful. Recycle garbage. What we can recycle out of Allah, a God who promised me endless penis. Is that a penalty or reward? How you can walk with it?
backward <laughs> who's going to carry it for you is that a scud missile and what kind of god he promised you in this penis what if the penis your penis who is english hit allah are we going to have a war with allah what if allah got screwed what if your penis went in the amazon river do you know those fish what they can do they will enjoy eating it so you have it's a metaphor metaphorical penis yeah and the vagina is metaphorical too and the 70 years orgasm is metaphorical too anything is embarrassing it's metaphorical <clears throat> all right my friend go ahead continue please yeah sorry um yeah uh actually um on the october of seven it was on it was it was a saturday and um uh, on monday when i but there are some um some people Lebanese people they walk in my place and on um on monday when i they come back to walk uh like my the, friend lax 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 my friend I, I really appreciate you but do you need to tell me when Monday I went in the street and I'm coming back, just tell me what happened. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they were just uh, celebrating, you know, uh, mocking at my face. You know, okay, what it, it, nothing new. I mean, what, what, what is new? Nothing new here. This is what they do. Nothing new. Thank you, you know, for for sharing. Yeah, yeah, this is what they are. Yeah, and 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 uh, and now they still like you know every day you know. Uh, uh, now Israel is going back to Lebanon now. Um, after they they are done with uh, Gaza, and now every day they are playing a uh, victim. And actually, what I wanted to say is, uh, in here in Australia, every day the crime is going uh, high and high, and all most my of the friend, crime. My friend, my friend, my friend, it's not their fault. It's the fault of your stupid government who brought them over. So thank you for joining us. But you did not tell me something really. Yeah. Yeah, this is the government of Australia. They are a bunch of fools. You you bring them home. You give them visa. You give them citizenship. You give them welfare. You give them free school. You give them, uh, you know, they don't work. Even each one of them, he have four wives, but each one of them, she registered herself as single mother so she can get a salary. So you pay for their babies. You pay for their sex. You pay for the semen. You, you pay for their sperm. And then we complain. You had no right to complain. You did it to yourself. Who elect this government? Who brought them there? It's you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very, it's getting dangerous now here too. Every day the crime well, you have to change like your law. Having... You have to change your law before they take over. They will take over. They will gank against you, and they will get rid of you. Soon you will become a refugee yourself. Yeah, yeah I think there's uh, something wrong with the government. Maybe you know. It's not the fault I of the government. Know. It's yeah. your fault. You should vote against the government. Is the government is doing bad job? Why we vote for them? Do something. Don't cry about it. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. You know, I don't want to. And I don't want. I don't like to hear people complaining. You know, because simply, yeah, yeah. this is not how you solve a problem. Do something about it. Thank you for joining us. When somebody complain, what the complaint would do? Do something. Why we vote for those garbage in the government? And then we say, look what happened. It's no, you, it's you did it. Because you decide to go sleep. You never go to vote. You never go against them. You never fight against what they do and their plan. And they keep inviting you more people. And then when we have the problem, we cry. We say, look what we have. It's, it was your fault, not your fault. This is what you did to yourself, all right? Same in Israel. This Netanyahu, I don't like him. I don't like the guy. He is the stupid guy who opened the jail of terrorists just because he won a free one soldier 20 years ago. He released thousands of Hamas murderers in the street and that encouraged every terrorist group to kidnap Israeli. Shouldn't you know better, you idiot? That when you do that, you are encouraging them to capture more. So now, all what they need to do, and this is what Hamas, they were thinking, we will attack them, we kill as many, we bring some hostages, and that's it, the Israeli negotiate with us, give us our prisoners, 
and then we continue we kidnap more we attack more we kill more we kidnap more and then we negotiate this is this is what they did the israeli stupid government they did that to themselves you win war or you lose war because of a stupid leader not necessarily because you have a weak army do you understand you can have the most powerful army in the world but if you have a donkey president or a prime minister you are doomed hezbollah why hezbollah become so big because the stupid american you know how many of you says uh, ronald dragon he was a great he was a piece of shit he is the one who made them win hezbollah killed 250 marines in two seconds car explosion in beirut what reagan he did he put his tail between his legs and he would draw and then hezbollah was cheering allahu akbar the american run away you did it you run away and since then hezbollah became a hero the american run the american this is what what a bad leader can do and those americans they keep saying to you ronald reagan was so good you are right this is what happened to you when you vote for an actor. What about next time you make opera? Huh? What about having a Billy Dancer? What about making a drag, a drag a queen, a president? You will do it. So those, they did not come from nowhere. American are fool. European are fool. Israeli are fool. They allow them to grow. I know what I say will make many people angry, but this is reality. It's the truth. And the truth hurt. Nobody will listen. At that time, Hezbollah is not even 1,000 member. Not even 1,000. Can the American wipe them out? They can. Just for the sake of politics, oh, we have 250 Marines. Yes, this is why you should stay. They just killed 250 of your kids, you coward. And this is what they're hoping now. If they kill 200 from Israel, those who they are working in politics and those hippie in Israel, oh, war is bad. We should stop now. We release the hostages, cease fire now, those hippies in Israel. So Hamas and Hezbollah, they were hoping to win the war by the hippies the hippies in new york the hippie in san francisco the hippie in france the hippie in england and for sure support of the muslim terrorists in all those countries and qatar money and the liberals all decide to gather against israel like dogs so israel become like a falling cow and everybody will take a bite And when October 7 happened, everybody started looking down at Israel. This is a weak country. Let us bite it. Let us take a bite. It's collapsing. Look, if Hamas can do this, what we can do? So now Israel is showing the enemy that don't mess with the Jews. Don't. This is the firework of, of Iran. I cannot wait to see the firework of Israel over Asfahan. Let us see who his firework is better. I hope they will teach those mullahs how to behave. They will teach them how to make firework. When they see their refinery is burning, look at this scumbag. His glass is making a nice eyebrows. This is naturally, by the way, is not a Photoshop. He looked like a weirdo, you know, 
queer for Palestine, something, right? Yeah. Uh, this war is very important, for in this war Israel will teach the enemy that next time you do something, you will receive what you deserve. No mercy. Mercy is understood wrong by dogs. Even dogs are way better ethical. Dogs, they can be loving, they can be protective for you. They can be loyal. So Israel have to fix this now. No negotiation. They shot at you hundreds of missiles. Give them half of it. But be sure, each one of them is going in the ass of the mullahs. Which means their refinery, their nuclear facility. They are building it for the last 30 years. Finish it in two seconds. Let them go back to zero. The leader of Iran, right away, they, they ordered to launch the missiles. They took him to the basement. I mean, they are afraid to, to, the Jews will kill him even he is the most protected man. Give me the army of Israel and I will tell you what I will do. And I will show you what I will do. Just one week. You know what? 24 hours. I know, I know, Rumble is not working. Each time I have a title about Israel, Rumble doesn't work. So I'm assuming Rumble is siding against Israel. Because each time I put Israel there, the video doesn't work. If I make it about Islam, anything, it works. Something fishy, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Uh, by the way, the guy next to him is dead too. So in case, you know, like we cannot send Baklava to Nasrallah with this guy because, he, you know, uh, Israeli took him with, because this guy, he is like, a, he's a dog. He, he go with him wherever he go. So this guy next to him in the picture, bye-bye. So don't think he's alive. They are gone, all right? And the funny is, when the Hezbollah, they claim that they found his body, I assure you, there's nobody. But they don't want to admit that the guy became hummus. They even said that he was not even covered by blood. He died because he, under a shock of the bomb. Yeah, true story. Sound like he smelled my fart. A shock of a bomb? What does that mean? How are you? Hey, Geith, how are you? Your mic is not working. Can you hear me? Your mic is not working. It's normal. A Muslim mic it doesn't work. No, no. My mic is very good, man. What? No, no. You're, you're a Muslim. Your mic doesn't work. <laughs> you can hear me. It doesn't work. I'm telling you. You're a Muslim. You leave Islam, your mic will work. Try, try. Say, 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 I am out of Islam. Let us see. Try it. No, why are you like this? I'm, can you... I'm telling you, it's not working. I can't hear you. Say, no, I left. Say, I'm leaving Muhammad. Muhammad is a fraud, and your mic will work. Just wait. Try it. Try it. <laughs> right, I'm telling you. Want... Listen, listen. I, uh, once I was fishing, I was getting a fish every two seconds. The Muslim next to me, he was getting no fish. He said, what do you do? What is bait you are using? I say, oh, Jesus. The guy, he went and he said, oh, Jesus, he got a big fish. The second he saw it, he saw the fish coming out. He said, oh, Muhammad, how big it is. The fish went loose. So I'm telling you, this, your mic is not working. My friend, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Just fix your mic and come back. Leave Islam and come back. Your mic is not working. Guys, his mic is working? No, I can't hear anything. You sound like Hassan Nasrallah in the basement after the Jews uh, knock him. You know? Oh, Muhammad. If you are a Shia, say Ali. 
when you do boom boom to your wife so you can have seven boys I mean even your mic doesn't work not only your missiles honestly Muslims how they can have babies their missiles doesn't work do anything work with you Well, you guys are laughing. Show respect. Put yourself in his shoes. Come on. What's wrong with you? Potato. And people, they say to me, why you use the word potato? I like potato. What's wrong with you? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, even the Quran says Muhammad was cut off. You're right. There's a verse in the Quran, you know, it's, it's, it's called al a chapter. It's called al kawthar Allah, he promised Muhammad a river of semen because he cannot make semen. It was imported from China. Are you know Chinese semen? They mix it with, this, you know, all kinds of stuff like spice and, you know. I mean, the guy, even kids, he could not make. He asked the neighbors. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if you fix your microphone. My friend, your mic is not working. I told you, you need to leave Islam. I'm telling you, your mic is not working. Why you are stubborn? Are you there? Maybe you can go with someone in a private room, but don't do anything wrong, okay, as a Muslim. Just speak to another Muslim. Try your mic in a private room. Just keep it, be, you know, like uh, uh, behave yourself. And uh, when it's ready, come back here. Do we have any Abdul? Who is Abdul here? He want to support Hezbollah. I like Hezbollah. I mean, have you ever heard of a religion? Their God, he have party. Maybe many of you do not know what Hezbollah means. Let me show you. Hezbollah is a phrase mentioned in the Quran. It is the party of Allah. This is telling you that this is not a religion. It's not. It's a political gang. Like the Mason. Here it says, فَإِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهُ هُمُ الْغَارِبُونَ Surely the party of Allah is the victorious. This is what the party of Allah means, Hezbollah. Hizb in Arabic means party. You see it? Party. Well, guess what, Hizb? You are having party right now. The Jews are going to make you dance non-stop in the top of a stove. Party, party. Party, party, party. Non-stop. Party. Not even party. once. Party. No, no stop. Party. Over. Party. Keep going. Party. Hey, Sibala. Party. Yeah. Party. You want to mess with the Jews? Abdul. Why you guys are laughing? What's wrong with you guys? Do you, do you find what I'm saying is funny? Those, those people are weird, by the way. I mean, sir. Okay, let me let me ask Allah to curse you. May Allah curse you all and make you look like me. Oh boy. They will kill me if this has happened to them. <laughs> Especially women. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you find your face full of hair. Beard, your chest is like a, a like a grass of a valley, and there's weeds and there is needles, and uh, your face look weird, and your eyebrows is not eyebrows. Those are not eyebrows. I don't know. Those are a mustache. But anyway, this is how I am. You see those women? They are like picking up their eyebrows and they make them thin. Like now these days, actually, they are making them wide. They are drawing them with a the pen. Gaith, I told you your mic is not going to work as long as you are a Muslim. It's not working. My mic is working now. I checked it already. It's bad, very bad. No, it's not bad. It's just for you. Be honest with me. Is that a mic you stole from the Jews when they attacked from Gaza? No, it's actually a hyperic. Your what? 
a hyper echo. I don't hear you. Guys, is his voice only bad for me or bad for you too? Tell me. I spoke with 30 people before you. You spoke with 30? Well, I am the 31. I'm different. Don't you get it? I'm a Christian prince. When you speak to me, you speak from low below. Okay, come on. Just face the reality, my friend. I cannot hear you. Fix your microphone. You can, you can no, no, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. I'm not playing with you. I'm just telling you. I cannot hear you. It sounds like you are inside the toilet seat or something. Do we have any Abdul who support Hezbollah? I like Hezbollah. The party of Allah. The Israelis are going to make you halal food. You want to mess with the Jews? Okay. Get ready. There's many ways to send you to Allah. There's pager way. There's F-35. There's Merkava. I mean, a baklava. Anything you want. Just name it. Hmm. No, no, we are not uh, laughing. Listen, Gaith, go to YouTube, go to YouTube, and uh, like reward back the YouTube. You will hear your voice. How bad it is. We are not. We are, I'm not making fun of you, even though you are funny. I mean, you are Muslim anyway. I do not need to laugh at you. That alone is a joke. Imagine, guys, somebody is a Muslim. <laughs> what? What are you? Muslim. What do you do? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, five times a day. Five times a day, calling Allah, saying the same words. How boring. Like, teredem, 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 Allah answered the phone. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Malaikim Ameen. Bye-bye. And then he called him two hours after. Teredem, 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 teredem. The phone answering. He called him again two hours after. I mean, you know what? If you are my son, I will go into just to throw you from the mountain. Five times calling me a day, every day, saying the same word for eternity, you idiot. Say something like, hello, how are you doing? I miss you. But saying the same words five times a day, that is a penalty. That's not a prayer. Just imagine. Let us say you are a lady and you have a man who call you. He love you. Hello. It's you. You're looking for. It's me. And he hang up. He called you two hours after. Hello. It's me you looking for. Bye-bye. He called you again. Hello. It's you. No, it's me. Who are looking for? This woman, she will take her high heel shoes and she will say to you, Hello. If you call me again, I'm going to put my shoe in your head and I'm going to teach you how to call me again. Hello. Abdul, is that a prayer? What's wrong with you? Potato. Do we have any Abdul from the land of potatoes? He support Hezbollah and willing to join us. Anyone? If you are here uh, first time, I feel sorry for you. Don't subscribe. You will become addicted. Any Abdul? Where's the Abdul? What happened? It's a dry today. Hmm? The only Abdul we have, his mic is not working. Good luck with that. The Prophet, his penis was not working. So what he did, anyone knows what happened? Who, who remember? Anyone remember? <coughs> Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person in the world in Boom Boom. I don't, I don't want to use the F word, okay? Just how polite I am. So I invoke my God, Allah. And he sent me a dish of shish kebab. 
I ate it and I got the power of 40 men. What? <laughs> hey, Abdul, is that a true story? <laughs> what? So if I, and, and now we know why the shish kebab is so expensive in the Middle East. All of them, their penis is not working. Huh? Allah, he sent Muhammad a dish of shish kebab to fix his penis? Seriously, true story, huh? Let me show you the reference because you might say I'm making things up. Excuse me, uh, Nasrallah. I mean, you are dead anyway, so it's okay, you know. The penis of the Prophet's story is more important than yours. You are dead already. Even your penis now became shish kebab. So just uh, give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be back to you. Don't worry. Don't worry, stupid. He's upset because I will take his pictures. Listen, Abdul. This is your religion. The book of Al Manawi. By the way, Al Manawi is coming from Al Hayawan Al Manawi, which means semen. I'm serious. I mean, it's amazing, man. Even the name of the of the author is fishy. All right, let's go back. I wanted to translate for you, but when I click in it, uh, there's a link I cannot translate. Hold on. But maybe if we can, it's, it's going to translate three words. I want only one word. Yeah, I see Al Manawi. Anyway, so here Hadith number six four two six. Look what Muhammad said. I was one of the people who had the least sexual intercourse until God sent down the cup on me. So I did not want an hour without finding him, and he had a lot of meat in it. <laughs> Uh, what? No, seriously, what? What happened? No way. He was the lowest person between all mankind and boom boom. Prophet of Allah Muhammad. Let me show you the other hadith. There's many hadith actually. This one doesn't say. There's one that says, and then he got the power of 100 men. Uh, Actually, there is even a story that Muhammad, he could not do boom, boom to his wives for 29 days at all, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, let us see this hadith here. By the way, in case you wonder how we can find the reference I'm showing you, you can take a screenshot of what you see in the screen, and then you can use Google Lens, whatever you have a phone, like uh, Apple or something, or Google, and you can search for the same. You can highlight the the the, uh, the text by using Google uh, Lens, and then you can you will find you will find the reference right away. All right, very easy. So here it says, uh, mentioning what the Prophet of Allah is given as a power for sex. The Prophet of Allah was given a power for sex. Wow, what is that? The power. Anyone remember something to do about power? Hold on. What that guy named? The guy, the British actor? What his name? This blonde guy, funny? Uh, uh, the movie, Power? Anyone remember? Yeah, yeah baby? Anyone knows? Uh, what, what his name? Yeah, yeah baby? <laughs> Austin Power. <laughs> <laughs> Muslims, is that a religion? Seriously, I'm serious now. This is really a religion. You're a prophet, Allah, He sent him a dish of shish kebab. And he got the power of 40 men. Man. In case you do not know what I'm talking about, this is the guy. <clears throat> Austin Power. We will go back to the reference, don't worry. Yeah, baby. 
Yeah, baby. You know, I mean, this guy, women, they die to, to sleep with him. Look, this is Aisha legs around the Prophet's head. We go back to the Hadith. So he says, talking about how the Prophet, he got his power in sex. He says that the Prophet said, I was the lowest person between all mankind in Ifin until Allah he sent a dish of al kufta which is a kebab anytime I need it sa'a here sa'a in Arabic today mean one hour but at that time is used for like 15 20 minutes except I found it and it is so Allah anytime Muhammad wanna if his wives he's he's the lowest in Ifin but the second he won it Allah sent it like in 15 20 minutes he eat it and he get the and it is it's a dish have meat in it and then he get the power of 40 men true story <clears throat> the messenger of God may God bless him and grant him peace said I was one of the people who had the least sexual intercourse until God sent down the cuff on me not even an hour would I want to find him without a pot of meat in it. Viagra, what you know, talking about Allah, He is sending sexual enhancement dish for the Prophet. And look here, it says, Jibreel, he met me with a dish. I ate from it. It's called, and, and, and I've been given the kufta. I ate it and I get the power of 40 men in boom boom. The messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Gabriel brought me a pot, so I ate some of it and gave the pot the strength of 40 men to have intercourse. You know, I don't know. I'm not lucky. I have the power of 39 men. Even Prophet Muhammad, he did beat me in that field. 30 a month, 39. I mean, what will almost, almost we together, we are equal. I'm 39. Men power. He have 40. He have to win. Prophet of Allah. Eh, not my lucky day. Austin power. Prophet Muhammad was Austin power. Police be upon him. 40 men, he Muslims, how you measure the penis power of the Prophet? Like he was, like you brought him and you brought 40 men and all of them, they are brewing boom, boom. And then he, he was the winner. What do you mean? How, how you know? Like what is the scientific method you use to measure the power of the penis of the Prophet? There's any Muslim want to volunteer? Prophet Austin power, police be upon him. Hmm? This is their books. You see, people, they speak about their prophet was decent, was a great man. What the Muslim they talk about? The prophet was so good in effing. He's so effing good, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the word. But it, it fit perfectly. This is what it's about. <laughs> He's the man. He's so good, man, in the bed. But he was the most weak person in heaven. But then he ate a shish kebab. And Allah sent it with the angel Zibril. Zibril, come here. Yes, Allah. What's up into your voice? I don't know, Allah. You sound weird, man. Your voice doesn't sound like a voice of an angel. Okay, Allah, what I can do, Allah? You need a hormone. Listen, this is a dish. You give it to Prophet Muhammad. Don't eat anything from it. Okay? Okay, Allah. Jibreel, he go to Muhammad. He delivered the dish for him, but before he delivered the dish, he ate some of it. He came back to Allah. Allah asked him, did you deliver the dish to Muhammad? Yes, Allah, I swear. You, I told you don't eat from it, you donkey. You eat from it, right? No, Allah. So what happened to your voice? I don't know. <laughs> hey Muslims, eating shish kebab will make you so powerful, 
Seriously? So why you are number one people in the world who buy Viagra? Go check right now how much they spend money for Viagra in Egypt, you know? <laughs> Jibril, how's your voice doing now? Very good. Okay, okay. Well, you don't give some shish kebab to Ali Dawa. We are proud of it. I mean, give some shish kebab. It, it sounds like the hormone, the testosterone, is exist in the kebab. It's the beef. May Allah beef you up. Potato. You believe in those stories, Abdul? And you are wondering why the Jews are beating your ass every day? Huh? Kebab? Why you don't eat kebab and fight the Jews? Just eat kebab. Ah, now I know why you have a lack of power. It is kebab power. Ah. Maybe the Jews are eating meat more kebab than you. Now I get it. I was wondering how the Jews are so powerful. Do we have any Abdul? We have zero Abdul. Who is here first time? Do we have anyone first time here? Who is first time here? If you are first time here, give me one. If you are here first time, give me one. Nobody first time. Nobody first time. Okay, there's only a few. Okay, okay, all right. Like you guys are returning returning customers. Ah, all right, all right. Okay. Well, if you are here a second time, give me one. Or returning person, give me give me one. Let us see how many returning. You guys sound like Arab. It, it doesn't matter what number I give you. You don't give me anything. I say who is first time, give me one, nobody. I say who is second time, nobody. Okay, now I'm counting. Oh, all of you first time? All right, okay, okay. Now, I tricked you, I tricked you. I told you who is here for a second time, give me one. Who is here first time? There's no one. I'm going to record without audio. I will post it in the internet. I will say all of those, they just came today for first time. Just, I will use it, hold on, for, for commercial. All of you are here coming first time. I will only post my voice when I say it. If you are here first time, which one? Wow, all of them are new. Wonderful. Sound like Kamala Harris. She came to the restaurant and all the customers there, they are waiting for her because they are from her party and they reserve the restaurant. Fako. Anyway, any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Hey Muslims, what do you think? The power of Austin power, can you use it to defeat Israel? The mullahs of Iran are using empty, blank firework. Anyone? Any comment in the VP debate? What is that VP debate? I don't know what does that mean. I don't watch other people debate because I don't consider them a debate. What is the empty tank? Not in this page, maybe. Yeah, in the other page, maybe. Hold on. <clears throat> if there's any news, guys, if you any, there's any news, let me know. Because, you know, uh, sometimes we are carried out here and we don't notice what's going on. So if there is something, let me know. Let us see, this is Israel. <coughs> all right, all right, let us see. Yeah, this is the this is the young man, young soldier who died today. He is the first uh, to receive the honor to die in his in, in his defense and to, to going after a terrorist. His name is Captain Ethan Itzak Ostar. Ostar, all right? So he's a captain, even though, by the way, he's very young to be a captain, but he is, 
you know, because it's, it, it says captain, uh, uh, captain, but yet 22. Very, very good, you know, very good. Yeah, God, God bless his soul. Uh, and uh, we we pray that the Israeli will not have a lot of casualty, but we know that it's war, and they will have casualty. You cannot, you cannot win a war without losing life. That's what war is about. Uh, <clears throat> IDF released footage of the 36th Division entire Lebanon overnight target right. All right. Let us see. Those are the soldiers are going inside Lebanon. See how the nature of uh, this area? Do you see how it is? So they are going to climb. This why is difficult actually because in the beginning you can be an easy target for a sniper. Especially if you are in open area and you are exposed, you know. And I don't agree with them, by the way, going inside those buildings like that. They should not do that because they should send a drone, small drones, before they go in. I mean, you have a drone, why don't you use them? The toy drone, you know, or a dog. What happened to the dogs? Yeah, I don't agree with this method to go in. I believe this is wrong, wrong style to do it, you know. Um, <clears throat> Next time we go online, I will try to uh, to show more, uh, you know, more videos. Mullin attacks on Iran oil ring nuclear site in response to attack missiles yeah do it don't tell me news just do it let us see it happening you will have a party here guys if the israeli attack the iran the iranian nuclear site and the refinery of oils not oil rings no 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 not oil rings rigs sorry attack the refinery because rigs can be fixed easy the refineries cost trillions of dollars they need forever to repair like every refinery they have it took at least 25 years to to make it exist so that that will be a big deal you know you burn it all what ring what rigs no go to the refinery yeah Here, this is one of the uh, Iranian missiles hit a water tank in the air base. Uh oh. The Jews now, they cannot run water after they piss in the air base. That, that pissed them off. <laughs> That's seriously. Sis victim of Java terror. Okay, those are the ones who was killed yesterday. Poor people standing in the train station. The cowards. The cowards. Those are the cowards. See? A woman, she is in the floor and he is shooting her. They cover her with the, uh, uh, you know, Photoshop so you will not see how ugly it is. And then they say to you, why you are attacking us? Just wait. You will get what you deserve. All right. Oh, you don't see what I'm seeing. Sorry, guys. I was clicking in the, the front page. Let me show you. Let me show you where I am. Those are the seven people killed in shooting, stabbing, terror attack in Jaffa. And those are the filthy criminals are shooting the women 
she was standing in the side of the wall in the train uh, station. And then they killed them. Thank God. I don't know if you noticed they were shooting at the train when the train is moving. They, they, actually, they are lucky, the, the people, they were lucky that the train moved in the same second they came. I don't know if you notice, they were shooting at the train. They came, you see, they came and the train was still stopping. You see, if the guy who is holding the camera, he have a gun, he can save everybody. This is why it's very important to be always armed and ready if you live in a dangerous area like this area where those terrorists can appear from any side. Very important. So here actually I blame those civilians. Why you don't have guns? I mean, you know where you live. They will target women. They, they target you because you don't have arms. If they knew that you have arms, they would not target you. <clears throat> you know, some people, they say to you, I don't like weapon. Well, this is not about I like or you don't like. This is not uh, about liking. This is not fashion. All right? This is not about fashion. This is about being smart. It's about safety and security, and you have to do what you need to do. Nobody likes to shoot people. We don't. But what you do, look, you are in the street. You are in train station. You are not coming to war zone. They come after you. They are filthy. Right? You know, when I was in the Middle East, I go with the church. Like, you know, those guys in the church. So we go hiking, we do, etc. They say to me, why why you have a gun with you, brother? Why you have a gun with you? We are Christians. Why we have a gun? I said, I like guns. What's wrong with you? I mean, I, did they even, I, I don't even show it. You know, like it's like when I hike, it might appear in my side or etc. But I am not, I'm not even touching it. So why you have gun? Why you have gun? You know, the, the uh, one day we were hiking. Uh, it was a very stormy day. And then we start hearing the wolves. Ooh, you know? And then we start seeing their eyes. Right away, everybody said, you have your gun with you, right? You have your gun with you. I said, yeah, I have my gun with me, but I have one bullet. They said, what? One bullet? Why you carry a gun with one bullet? You know, I said, what I would do? I thought I will protect only myself. <laughs> Suddenly, my gun become important. For almost a year, making fun of me, each time, bothering me. Why you have a gun with you? Brother, why you do that? Brother, we are here, you know, we read the Bible, we do Bible study, we are going in the mountains, you know, we are Christians, you know. And then when the wolves came, you have your gun with you. And not only that, they hold me from my hands. I can't even move. I said, they just don't take my hands. So if they get the clothes, I will shoot. I can't even move my hands. They, they like, they're around, around me and they are, all... I don't know what to say. You have your guns, huh? Yeah, I have it. But I told them I have only one bullet to protect myself. What? Only one bullet. Why? Why? One bullet. Why? Because uh, just for me. <laughs> oh, boy. No, actually, even if you are a female, you should have a weapon. Why not? Because simply, you can be facing a predator who is a man. He is filthy. He is a criminal. He will rape you. And what you would do, you know? Like, don't assume that everybody around you is good. Like, there's some countries, it's safe. You don't uh, hear too much about crimes. So I don't say, okay, maybe you do not need it in that country. But if you live in a country where you know that it's highly possible that something bad can happen, so why you don't have a weapon? If I say, I don't have a weapon, if I put a sign in my door saying, I have no weapon here, I'm telling the criminal, come here, please. You know, this guy don't have weapon. We can take him easy. Right? <clears throat> uh, 
جين مايكل اه جين مايكل اوكي وات از ذس نيم جون مايكل جو اهيد جين يو يو واتس اب يو يو كان هير مي يا يو 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 اي ونت تو نو واتس ذا فوكين بايبل ذات از نوت اديتد يو بيس اوف شيت ويتش وان اوكي ويل يو سي يور فيث از كم باك لايك يور بروفيت But let me answer you, even you say that sentence. This is your stupid Quran, you piece of shit. Saying my Bible never changed, you piece of shit. You want to see shit in the Quran? Let me show you. I'm using your language. Don't be upset. This is your stupid Quran, you donkey. Piece of shit. Saying that you are a shitty person who do not know what you are talking about. This is your Quran saying, believing in the book we have with us. Do you see it? Do you see it, Abdul? Is that your stupid Quran? Potato. Same time, you are saying to me, the Bible of Allah changed? That means we screwed Allah. So look what we do. We Christian and Jews, we screw your God nonstop. He sent a book, we change it. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Your God could not protect his book. He is, is, is he a queer for Palestine? He's so hippie. He could not do anything about it. So this is your stupid book, Potato. I mean, I thought he will debate me, but filthy, trashy. Do you see it? Confirming what is with them. This is your stupid book, the Torah and the gospel. Potato. Did I spank you hard? Tell, tell everybody how your God, he sent 124,000 books, but he could not protect them. Uh -huh. How does it feel to be broke and stupid? I don't know who is the one is broke. I have no idea. Uh, the Hadith says that the Kuffar, they broke the teeth of Muhammad. That's why when he talk, he recite the Quran, he says, Bismillah Alhamdulillah Who is the one is broke? Shall we send you a pager? This is your stupid book. Mm. You want a real Bible? Well, your Quran says the real Bible is there. It's our book. Now we want a real Quran. This is your Aisha saying the Quran been eaten by a goat. If you if you promise me to speak without using bad language, I will invite you. Is that fair, guys? In the front of everybody. Let us see if the Muslims, they have a book. They don't even have a book. <laughs> this is your prophet. He died. A goat get inside the room. Meh. She jumped in the top of the prophet. She flipped him. She flipped the pages of the Quran with her tongue. <laughs> and she started showing it. And she ate many verses, including the breast feeding for adult. Guys, shall I invite him to tell us about the breast feeding for adult? I can invite him. Okay, hold on. Let me invite him. But put your hand up. I want you to tell us about the real book of, of Islam. Put your hand up. I want you to recite for me the breast feeding for adult verses. Will you? Will you? You will show me a real book? Okay, come here. Huh? Let me invite you. Remember, you have to read what I show you on the screen. Did the goat eat your book? Come here. I invited you. Be a man. Don't use bad language. Come in person? Trust me, you don't want to see me in person. This is what you do. You say to the Jews, come in person. When the Jews come to you, you run in the tunnel. You are not a gay? Why, you are not a Muslim? Every Muslim is a gay, according to your prophet. You want to show it to you? Do you want me to show it to you? Isn't it your prophet? He said he never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha. Yes or no? I can show you a reference. Isn't it your prophet he pee like a woman? Yes or no? I can show you the reference. Isn't it your prophet men kiss him down his belly? Yes or no? 
I can show you the reference. Isn't it your prophet? He cannot even have sex because his penis never worked. In fact, here we go. We have the reference in front of us. It's ready. Muhammad, the messenger of Allah yo, said. Yo, show me the real Bible, man. That's, that's the only thing I want, bro. You want what? The one that edited. Where it, is it? Edited? Where is it? We want the real Bible. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, so Allah, he sent the Bible. And your Bible of Allah is not exist no more? No, no, the Bible, like the Christian Bible. Yeah, yeah, there's no, this is nothing, it's called the Christian Bible. Like, yeah. Listen, listen, nope. according to the Quran, this is not the Christian Bible, this is the Bible of Allah, don't you know? Well, your Bible is fake. Huh? You listen, you are, awesome. you, are, you, are, you are running away, you are, who, who, is, who, is, who is the gay, you are running away. I'm asking you, is it true that the Bible is sent by Allah, yes or no? I don't know that. What do you mean? Don't don't know. Know. Aren't, aren't you a Muslim? I just know that. Aren't you a Muslim? Gays, aren't you a Muslim? I just know that. Gays okay. Don't have a okay. Read, read the verse. Read the verse with me. Isn't yeah. it the Quran says Allah He sent down the Torah and the Injil? All Christians teach us that in school. Listen, listen. I want you to read. Are you saying your God? Listen, listen. Are you are you are you an ignorant Muslim who do not know your religion? Who is the one who sent down the gospel? Give me his name. Your mother that has brain cancer, inshallah. Inshallah, she gets a brain cancer and you too, you fake. Oh, okay. That's it? With all that shit you're talking, I hope you get a fucking brain cancer, you piece of shit. That's it? <laughs> I cannot say the same for you because you don't have a brain to have cancer in it. You believe that there's a God who will make your penis endless. I don't... You know what? In fact... The promise of Allah promise that you don't uh, prove that you don't have a penis. Otherwise, what kind of God he promised such a promise? This is a promise for someone don't have one. Like, please, Allah, let me have one like everybody. Please. And then Allah says, I will make you have an endless penis. This is what you can do, you filthy coward. May Allah make your mama. What if I convert to Islam tomorrow and take your mama? Do we muta with her? Get out of here. Just kick him out. Faithy. Scum back. Get out. Coward. We don't have a place for, for, for the faith. If your mom, she was a decent woman, she will not teach you what you just said. But obviously she gave birth to you in the bar. And mostly they use a beer bottle, you know, to shower you when you came out. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> and the beer must be made by the Jews. Show me the real Bible. Real Bible. You stupid idiot. So you are saying to me that your Quran, your Allah, he sent the Bible and you and it and we we screwed him. Well, good for us. <laughs> when the Muslim he came, he came to you and he says that. Don't tell him I'm going to prove to you that the Bible is not corrupt. No, no, no. It says, oh, the Bible sent by Allah is corrupted. <laughs> the funny, stupid God. He could not protect his book. If your God could not even protect the book, how he can protect Hezbollah? You stupid. A book. Few pages your God could not protect it. Your God is a queer for Quran. Queer. I will protect the book. Are you corrupt my book? Okay. You? Are you serious? I swear by Allah. Oh, Ali Dawa, what are you doing? We are proud of it. <laughs> uh, are you having a good time, guys? You can stop laughing. Why you can't stop laughing? So guys, this guy, his laughing is made in China. You know, his brake is not working. You buy a Chinese car, you know, that's it. The car will keep going. He can't stop laughing. What I would do? They will, now his parents will sue me. My son, he died because he could not stop laughing. He started laughing yesterday until now he's laughing. Like, <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yeah.
based on what you are saying, you are laughing since last year because I said a joke last year. I got you. I got your back. You know, first time I heard this word, I got your back. I don't know what this word means. I said somebody will stab me or something. We are Arab. We stab each other. I got your back, brother. What kind of brother he got my back? Coward? You got what? What do you want to do with my back? Anyway, English is funny. And then they told me that this is not a bad word. He's saying like, you know, we support you. Oh, okay. Okay, and how I know. English. They speak English. I speak English. All right. Christian Debunker? Seriously, that's your name? Yes. All right. That's sound powerful, brother. Yes. All right. Uh, what, what do you think about the verse I'm showing you in the screen, as long as you can debunk me? <laughs> Is that Arabic? Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know. It sounds like you are speaking from your nose. Anyway, so what is this verse saying? I'm not going to talk about the verse. Yani. Why? 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 What's, what, the, what the problem? What the problem? Why you don't want to talk about the verse? You remember last time when you told me you were going to give me money? Give you money for what? For faking the debate. Faking a debate? Yes. Ah, you I gave you money to, to fake a debate? Ah, uh, okay. So you are yes, you you, so you are the Muslim. Muslim. Okay, hold on. You are the Muslims who say the effort to Allah because I will give you a dollar? No, you told me to like debate as a Muslim. Uh-huh. And you're gonna give me money. True story. Do you have a recording of me? Uh, no, no, you told me in voice chat. I told you in voice chat, this is why you don't have recording of me? Yes, because I'm using <laughs> my phone. Oh, you are using your phone. Your phone cannot record? Yes. Your mama was there? Yes. Can you ask your mama to join us? To be a witness? To bear witness? Of course. Okay, ask her to come. But, but we need for Don't butt me. We don't butt me. Don't butt me. Bring your mama. You're a horny man. Bring, your, horny bring, horny. bring your mama. You said Go your money. mama was there. No money. <laughs> why you are ashamed of your religion Abdul why you are ashamed of your religion and you don't dare to debate and you call yourself the I'm, 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 I'm Christian you are a Christian okay as long you are a so Christian you okay, as long you are a Christian a Christian he don't mind to say Muhammad is a fraud and he is a piece of garbage say it go ahead Huh? You run away. <laughs> Betito. Okay, okay. You are a Christian? Really? Seriously? I paid you money to claim to be Christian? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. All right, all right. This is you, and you are not even wearing a t-shirt. Are you sitting in the bathroom? What the heck? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, <clears throat> do we have any Abdul, you Muslims potato? Anyone? I always give Muslims money to say Muhammad is a fraud. Those Muslims, they, you know, this is what the Jews did. They gave uh, uh, someone from Hezbollah, tell us where Nasrallah. Hello? Five hamburger, Nasrallah. Okay, uh, Kabich. All right. Nasrallah now is in the bathroom in this building. Yes, yes. Yeah, just hit the bathroom. Boom. Bathroom is gone. Nasrallah is still in the shit, but the bathroom is gone. Excuse my language. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Not a single Muslim? If you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you are here second time, don't forget to unsubscribe. For your health 
and your safety. All right? Why Muslims in Afghanistan, they walk seven steps and jump? Monthly? Really? To order to see news, I have to pay monthly? Are you kidding me? Good luck. All right. Time for Israel. Let us see. Yeah, well, this is how the newspaper, they make money, you know. Syrian media report two dead, several wounded in alleged Israeli strike in Damascus. Two minutes ago. The Israeli went for a hunt. Syrian media report at least two dead and several wounded in alleged Israeli strike in Damascus. The pro-government Sham FM radio says the strike targeted apartment in three stories building in Mazza district of the capital. Okay. Don't mess with the Jews. IDF chief Israel will respond three minutes ago. Israel will respond to Iran can reach and strike anywhere in the Middle East. Only? Only in the Middle East? You liar? Your missiles can go all the way to China. Are you kidding me? I know you. Yeah. Look at the airplane behind. What they are loading it with? Huh? Seriously, what you guys are putting there? Let me guess. Uh, Quran? You would throw Quran on Iran. That would destroy Iran. That is the biggest bomb ever. Uh, I, I, show, I saw some of the video about the shooters, but I did not saw them coming from the mosque. But what, uh, what is the new? I mean, this is normal. We know them. Coming from the mosque to the mosque is the same. Garbage in, garbage out. Which means mostly they were hiding the weapon in the mosque, and the mosque was hiding, some smuggling the weapon for them. They should arrest everybody belong to that mosque. <clears throat> I want to see. I want to see guys who want to have a party with me when the Israelis start attacking Iran. Give me one if you want to join me. Who want to join me? Ah, so look here. It says. Uh, so the Israeli today, they lost seven soldiers, actually. Seven, not only one. Seven killed. God bless their soul in their attack today. So uh, obviously somebody was not careful in the attack. And that is a very high casualty for uh, soldiers who they are expert in war. They should. This should not happen. The one in charge is the captain. He's the first one. They mention his name. So he is... He made a mistake in the in the in the attack. Captain, uh, twenty three years old team. They should not let somebody twenty three years old to lead the group. That's not right. You know, always you need someone is older and more wiser to lead such a, a group. So uh, two captains, uh, uh, surgeon, surgeon, surgeon staff, surgeon. All they are. So seven. That is a very bad mistake. I hope that will not happen again. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Our security council member to condemn and sanctions Iran over missiles. Who care about your uh, council? You know, just do it yourself. Yeah. But you know, war, war always have price. But it's not good to have uh, a seven in the first day of invasion. Obviously, there's a very bad pl planner in the ground. He made a very bad mistake. As I told you, I saw the video. They were going in the building. Actually, this is what happened. They went inside the building, and then they've been ambushed inside the building, which means they did not send any drone to inspect the, the building. They did not send dogs. They were surprised. They thought there's nobody there. And mostly maybe they are resting and then suddenly they start shooting at them. <clears throat> yeah, they, they better be careful. In fact, why even you have a building? You should bomb the building before you enter it. Don't enter it. Just make it collapse. Which one is more important? 
uh, 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 losing seven soldiers or losing a, a bullet right they should do it in the in the in different way command on the ground is very important all right well i don't want to keep you longer all right uh, i hope you guys will have a good time and i hope the israeli will respond soon so we can have a real party uh, uh, and don't be too much sad for the casualty the israeli will have because they will have casualty they are in the ground especially in the first few days it's going to be uh, uneasy <clears throat> because those people they've been preparing for traps for a long time you know um, and they mentioned it. they said you know we are ready for you preparing traps etc so israeli should know better should not go uh, should not send young kids alone they should send someone as wise somebody in his 30 you know to be a commander not someone is 22 23 years old that is so young for such a mission he can go at a, at a fighter yes but not as a commander that is very wrong age can make a difference you know age when you are young you jump you don't think much right when you are older you think twice before you do things this is why it's very important to have an older this is why we in the bible speak about elders right <clears throat> uh, sometimes you can be young and you can be very wise but that means the one who is in charge was he have a lack of training he was not ready for what happened yeah they made a big mistake uh, seven casualty is, is is very bad i hope that will not, will not repeat again and uh, you know at the same time we do not know how many of the enemies uh, uh, went dead because i guess as soon the casualty reported and the attack happened the israelis they start firing from everywhere and everybody from hezbollah is totally dead so maybe if they if they lost seven maybe the hezbollah lost maybe 50 we do not know all right but we pray that tomorrow will be better and victory always have a price always there's nothing happened by itself all right the lord he says go go to war and i will be with you so in war people will die in war people you love they will die it's war and they die for a reason for a good reason so we pray for those who gave their life. They are heroes. They are not cowards. They are, we are talking negative about how what happened, but because we want them to come back alive, not because we are uh, speaking against them. So we appreciate those heroes. We pray for their soul, and uh, we hope that tomorrow will do. They will do a better job, and they will not. They will learn from this mistake, so it's not going to be repeated. And I hope they will take the whole territory very soon. All right, very soon. Let us hope in less than uh, maybe 30 days from now, all that territory will be free. And the Israeli flag with the Lebanese flag will be waving up. Lebanese flag with the, with, the, with the cross, not with Hezbollah, the flag of Iran. Iran right now is occupying Lebanon. They have no right to be there. Nasrallah himself, he says clearly, we are soldiers of Iran. He is not a Lebanese. Those are not Lebanese. Those are Shia Muslims from Iran. They have nothing to do with the land. They came to the land. They occupy the land. They are terrifying the people, the civilians there. They are even forcing Christians in their area to go in the funeral of Hezbollah and say they are crying sad for Hezbollah. We know them. They are filthy, like Muhammad. So tomorrow, I hope so, we will join together and we will have a very exciting and better news however if israel attack i might come back online what do you think guys should i come back online if israel attack attack iran not uh, hezbollah they are cooking hezbollah and stop last yesterday just in beirut alone 55 potato being smoked so you see, they are so happy about seven Israeli soldiers get killed. 
just yesterday. In fact, the total death of Hezbollah is at least 8,000 by now. They are saying only 2,000, but we know this is the Middle East. So if Israel attack Iran, that is something I want to share, party with you. And I pray they will not just go and shoot a balloon. They should take, number one, the nuclear facility. Number two, not the oil rigs. No. Refineries. Rigs can be fixed in two months. Refinery need 20 years. Burn it. And you can do it. They shot at you this time 200 missiles. Last time 500. You have to pay them back the 700 missiles made in Israel. Heavy duty, full of falafel. And let them learn that next time you attack us, this is what you will get. After washing dishes, what washing dishes? I mean, these guys, those ladies, we are talking about war. Ladies are talking about washing dishes. I don't know what talking about. We cannot take those women to war. Thank God. Man. We are talking about war. What wash dishes? Women, you know, like, okay. After doing my nails. What? Oh boy. Just <coughs> change topic, change topic. Now they will say he's attacking women. Like YouTube, they will uh, cancel my channel. He's just at attacking women. I hate women. He, what, what do you mean I hate women? I love women. What, what are you talking about? Who Look, you, you walk in the street, you see a man. Oh boy. We look so horrible. We men, we look so bad. I don't know why God even made us, man. Look at the women. What are you talking about? Oof, me and those women. Oh boy. Anyway. Uh, however, however, women are so beautiful just for safety and security. There's two I don't miss with. IDF and women. Excuse me. Life come first. I am willing to miss with Allah. And every Muslim and every terrorist in the world. ISIS, Al-Qaeda. I say all kind of bad words to Muhammad. I fear nobody. But no IDF and no women. Period. Okay. Thank God I'm safe now. Yes, I surrender. Takbir. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you know, I have to make this comment because I, I felt there's some they are sharpening their nails. Do you see them when they go in the coffee shop? They open a bag, and then inside the bag, there's other bag. And then inside the other bag, there's other bag. And you are like nervous and your hand is shaking what she is getting from the from the purse. And then from the other bag, there's a smaller bag. And then she opened the bag and have many tools. And she put them on the table. Caesar. Oh boy. What this long one? And that one is what? And they start doing working in their nails. And then by mistake, her eyes look at you. You are dead. You better leave immediately or, or hide behind other women. That is the only way for safety. Let a woman fight other women. Now you are safe. The cat, you know, like, oh boy. I think if I keep talking, YouTube will take my channel with no mercy. I better stop. I take everything down. I did not say it. It's not there. It wasn't me. This is a shaitan. His name is Abiyad. He cloned Zibril and he gave me satanic verses. Okay? Everything I say to you is satanic verses. Uh, Zibril, he, uh, you know, the satan, he cloned Zibril. Zibril, he come to me, uh, but he's satan. He told me this is a verse from Allah. I told you those things, but this is not my words. Okay, this is, uh, I was hijacked. Like Dundee, Dundee, he, he said the videos, my videos is gone from his channel because somebody hijacked his channel. That's me. I went there and deleted your channel uh, videos because I don't want people to see how I made you look like a cat, you potato. Oh boy. True story? For sure, true story. I have I have witnesses. Ask all the girls here. Hey girls, do you have always with you the tools for nails? Wherever you go, ask them. Have you ever seen one woman traveling in the airport don't have seven, eight bags with her? I have a little bag with me. I wonder what they have with them. One bag for shoes. Two bags for shoes, maybe. I don't know. 
you know like seven bags for uh, uh, makeup I, I have no idea I mean a lot of bags I mean air, airplane many airplane collapsed because of those bags there's one airplane this is a true story by the way was a flying I think was flying from uh, outer or later was flying from from where to where but they found that one of the lipsticks of the women one of the women stuck in the engine she was doing her lipstick and the window was open of the airplane so the lipstick fly from the window and went in the engine boom and then suddenly they saw like everything become red that airplane become red they thought like wow this is so pretty but this is not a pretty case at all the engine is burned yeah the lipstick was all over the place and then the the <coughs> the, the pilot you know he said the hello baby baby uh, lipstick uh, killed us and this is the last word we heard all right I'm telling you this is true story. <laughs> you guys don't believe me don't you shame on you I mean this is a true story okay when you go in the airplane try it open the window and do lipstick you can open the window because by the way it takes the door you open <laughs> don't open I'm just looking <laughs> unbelievable don't do that <coughs> Lipsy stick, not lipsy. Lips. Like learn English. Those people they don't speak English. God have mercy. Why I am here speaking to those people who don't speak with it's lipsy stick, not lipsy. Look at this guy, lipsy. I mean how you been accepted in my school? Lipsy? It's lipsy stick. It's a stick, they put it in their lips, you know? Yeah, it's a, <clears throat> English is a very uh, weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, by the way, if you are a supporter of uh, Hamas or Hezbollah and you are a female, we can send you a pager. So we pay you to receive lipstick, you know. <laughs> Pro has a connection with Didi. Who is Didi? This guy, the one who will find he was doing sex trafficking. <laughs> He is an innocent. He's like Andrew Tate's. He's innocent. The difference is Andrew Tate is lucky. He is in Romania. He can spend $10 million and he will become innocent in the court. But this Didi, he is in trouble. He cannot do that in America. It's going to be very hard. <laughs> you love my accent? It's for sale. Let's make an action for my, my accent. Guys, who want to who buy? There's a person said he loved my accent. Let us make a bet. Who wanna pay me two Hassan Nasrallah? Starting with two Hassan Nasrallah. We take Hassan Nasrallah for cash. Who wanna take? Who wanna pay me two Hassan Nasrallah? Three Hassan Nasrallah. Three Hassan Nasrallah. Anyone but more? Four Hassan Nasrallah. No, that's it. Ten Hassan Nasrallah. Name your price. Name your price. That's it. I think that's it. We don't have any more. I think I'm going to say sold soon. 50 Hassan Nasrallah. 50. Richard, he said 50. 72. Prince. 786. That's too much. 900 all of this for my accent you crazy people how i can give you my accent you crazy people are weird it's it's my accent how i can give it to you i'm just joking with you those people believe it can you believe it those uh, christians crazy crazy they want to buy my accent I'm like, what's wrong with them i don't know what to say to them you know they think they can buy everything even my accent this is the only thing i have <laughs> No face, no look, no etc. And now even my accent, you want to buy it? Leave it, uh, leave me alone. Oh boy. 5,000 cheer. <laughs> five, five BMW. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay guys, somebody want to ask a question, but uh, I'm done for today. So I will be back maybe if, uh, uh, if we have any news about... Uh, uh, Israel responding to Iran. I hope so. Uh, I, I, I promise you I will be back. Unless I am asleep, you know, like... 
By the way, when I sleep, I have accent too. I'm telling you. That's the nice thing about me. When I sleep, I have my accent. So this is something not very unique. Not everybody have it. I'm like Muhammad. I talk when I'm sleeping. Uh, Joe Biden, he do that too. Like, well, who am I? You know? So just to let you know. All right. Please come back. You know what? This is rude. You are telling me to leave so I can come back. Huh. Is that nice? Please come back. Which means you are saying to me, please just leave, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know what to say to people. I get to admit you have a high emotional intelligence. That's deep. Emotional intelligence. What is that? It sounds dino, emotional intelligence. Oh, uh -huh. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm being confused now. All right. Okay. I have many things. I cannot mention them too. Uh, emotional damage? Huh? You see, you guys, when you say don't mess with the women, how what women do? This lady, she just said, I have emotional damage. How nice of you. Thank you. Well, I don't, uh, I cannot call you potato because you are a woman and you have sharp nails and you are taking advantage of my weakness. Okay. But I will tell my mom. Okay. She's a woman like you. She have sharp nails too. She would deal with you. I got you busted. <laughs> no, I cannot call her tomato. If I call her tomato, that means I'm going to marry her. <laughs> because I love tomato. My mom, she said, one day you will meet a girl. Her name is tomato. You will marry her. You know, just because of her name. Yeah, so <clears throat> that is a name she don't deserve. All right, all right. I don't know what to say. Sound woke, really? Okay, whatever you say. Uh, let us hope that uh, tomorrow we'll have a better news, you know, and uh, I will go live in the same time, unless, unless Israel did hit and then I will be live on air right away. So if you see uh, uh, Israel may start hitting Iran, right away you, you, you can come here. Like if you don't see me right away, that's mean I'm preparing the life, etc. And you will find me here. All right, a beach. We find you a nice Israeli woman. Really? Are you serious? And then me and Netanyahu will become cousins? Like uh, he is uh, my brother-in-law, you know? Okay, all right, that's good. No problem. Uh, I better not to look at the comment, otherwise I will stay here until tomorrow. You guys, you trap me with the comment, I know. It's a trick, you know? They, they take advantage because I'm reading comment and they keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, guys. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. We pray for those soldiers who lost their life today. And uh, uh, remember them in your prayer today before you go to sleep. Pray for all the soldiers of Israel. Pray for their safety. Pray for the victory. Pray that uh, uh, they will go back home uh, at least uh, uh, with victory. Uh, uh, a casualty is a must. It's a war. Uh, it's not something you can avoid. But we pray that they will have the lowest casualty as possible and they will bring the biggest victory they can have for sure by the help of the Lord. So we pray to the Lord that he will guide them, arm them, power them and defeat their enemy, put the enemy under their feet so those filthy terrorists will never be able to hurt or attack those people so Israel can live in peace. Israel is not just a land. It's not. Israel means a lot for us. We Christians, we stand with Israel. And if somebody says to you, the majority are Jews, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. First, they are under attack. Second, they are treated unjustly. Number three, all the world is against them, just because they are Jews. 
And don't, rem don't forget, there's many other Christians too. They are Israeli Christians. There's many Jews who convert to Christianity. So we will support Israel if they are Jews or not. They believe in Jesus or not. This is their land and the Bible prove it. And God's words will never put down. God, he promised them the land. When you stand against the promise of God, God will defeat you. You are not fighting Israel. You better know that, Muslims. You are not fighting Israel. You are fighting the God of Israel. And you will be defeated. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean.